Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I thought I'd come on today and do like a little craft with me. Um, I'm just gonna make some little tags, and I thought I would just show you how I how I go about doing that. Um, I'm gonna use these really beautiful images from um, Pixie Dust Files on Etsy, and I will put a link to her Etsy store below. And I just printed them out on cardstock, and then I inked the edges with uh, some Tim Holtz tea stain and then I sewed around the edges and then I rough the edges up so I just wanted to show you because I really do like the way that looks so this one I didn't rough up the edges and this one I did and so for these tags I really want them to be very uh, shabby so I decided I would do that so all I do to do that is I use scissors I'm using my Timmy Holtz uh, snips and I'm just gonna rough up the edges by just rubbing it across like that see it roughs how it roughs it up so there's a smooth yeah I you probably can't see with my camera but anyway I like to do that sometimes so for these I decided I would rough them up a little bit I'm really procrastinating I should be out in the garden <laughs> But I'm trying to only garden in like spurts so I don't hurt my back. Sometimes my back hurts. I heard it gardening yesterday, so I'm trying to take it easy. So there's that one. I just love these little digitals. So I'm going to make some fabric tags. So what I like to have on hand is I cut up old sheets. Um, and you can get them like at um, yard sales, you know, just launder them and then they're ready to go. And you can see it's not even cut in like, <laughs> it's not even, <laughs> or straight. It's not even straight. So I just cut several of these and then I keep a pile around and I use for tags. And then I also uh, keep some next to my bedside because I like to sew at night and I will just make some hand stitched tags. They're just, they're cute. So I usually have a pile of these around. And so I do want to use this for my base. So, um, usually on my base, I like to have several layers. So, I will usually put like a layer of lace fabric and then a layer of tulle. But I actually think I want to do these more like snippet tags. So, I am going to, I have just a bunch of snippets on my desk. And I am going to use those. And my allergies are in full force. So I do have the sniffle, sniffles, which I will apologize for. This is my fabric tack. I think I'm going to use the fabric uh, tack just to tack some stuff down until I am sure everything is where I want it to go. Let me get that down there. So I think I want to start in the background using some of this... Um, vintage lace I got from Lavish Laces on Etsy and I will put a link to uh, Gisela's shop below also and let me find my fabric scissors so I think I'm just going to uh, put s vintage uh, lace snippets on the back of this and I think that's what I'm going to go with because who doesn't love a vintage snippets I know I do and I'm also trying to be quiet because my husband decided to take a nap <laughs> so I'm really trying to be quiet but we'll see all right so I think I like something like that so I just play around until I get you know what I'm looking for and I haven't I'm not gluing anything down yet because I'm not ready to commit <laughs> so I'm pretty sure let's see how far across will that go all right sometimes I do these in like an assembly line and I'll have a bunch of the um, pieces out and work on several at once but I decided I didn't want them all to be exactly alike although I could change my mind so we'll see I think I want to do something like that so I love the way that is looking. Okay, and then I want a piece of this, and all of this is uh, vintage lace from uh, Lavish Laces. And let me, I think 
so it's gonna go right here. I like this color. I think it goes well with the tag. So I wanna put this color on top, I think. Yeah, so I like that. Now normally I would just put this down like this and then run it through my sewing machine and so it'd be ready to go. But I am having my sewing machine serviced. So I went ahead and made a bunch of these because I wasn't sure how long my sewing machine will be gone. So we are going to be gluing these. Because that's, you know, it's funny. I've never, I've never had my sewing machine serviced and it's probably, it's gotta be like 10 years old at least. It's a, uh, a brother Project Runway edition. Oh, come on, glue. I might be using my hot glue. Oh no, I think it's gonna be fine. So I, I'm not, I don't wanna put a bunch of glue. I just wanna kinda of tack it down a little bit. Tack it down. And I don't necessarily line up the edges. I mean, I don't care if something's overlapping or not straight. I think it just adds to the shabbiness of it. And then I'm just gonna give me a glue right there. Put a few dots of this on there. Okay. There. So pretty. And I do like this across the bottom, so we're gonna stick with that. Definitely. I was hoping Jake would come up and get in his basket. It's He's usually up here with me. He's probably napping with Daddy. He's probably like, yes, someone's napping. You know how cats like naps. All right. It's just cute. It's so cute already. All right, and I want to add this to the top. I think I want the scalloped edge on the top there. Yeah. Definitely. All right, I love it. So there is my base. Now I'm trying to decide if I want to put tulle over that. I don't know. Let's see how that will look. I have just a big pile of tulle on my desk because I like to add tulle to things because I like like the softness it adds. But do I want to do that? I might. I'll go ahead and cut a piece off just in case. Kind of like it, so let's see which I think I want to add her right there. Isn't she cute? It's she's so pretty. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my image on, and then I will start embellishing. And I think I'm gonna use hot glue to do that. So we'll stick her down. Hmm. And this is why I like to rough up the edges because then they still kind of stick up off the tag and they're just rough and I just like, I mean, look how shabby and pretty that is. Now I'm just going to figure out what snippets I want to put around. Um, I have these um, vintage appliques that I've got. Where did I get them? I think I got them at an antique store, and I'm pretty sure I want one on the side of this image. Let me cut off some pieces. There we go. There we go. Like, I like that, but what else do I... What other snippety snippets do I have over here on the desk? Oh, this is another lovely piece from um, Gisela's store, which I think is gorgeous. And I kind of like 
the idea of that down the side. Like, isn't that pretty? Hmm. I don't know. This is why I don't do a lot of craft with me videos because it literally takes me so much time to decide <laughs> what I'm going to do. Like, I don't know. I've gotten this far, but then the actual uh, decorating seems to take me a while to decide. Let me take that off for a minute. Hmm. I want that. It would be cute if I used this beautiful vintage uh, lace from Gisela's store and, and made a bow. I think that's what I'm going to do with that. That looks like some bow lace. I'm going to make some bows out of that. Oh, I do have this gorgeous... This is all I have left of this beautiful lace from Angel Dream Crafts on Etsy. And I'll put a link to her store below too. I think she might be out of this lace though and I love it because I love the way it looks across the bottom of these tags. Isn't that so cute? I think I'm going to use that and then I think I'm going to do this and then I'm going to put a bow and then I am going to put some of these vintage um, bling pieces that I got from Gisela's shop. I think that's what we're going to do. Let's cut this and see. And because I change my mind so much, I don't like to glue things down until I am convinced <laughs> that everything is the way I want it. And sometimes that takes me a while. Like, I'm pretty sure about that. I'm pretty sure. Now, I am so terrible at making um, bows just with my hands. I'm going to try. We'll see what happens. It's like I have to use a bow maker to make even little bow, all the bows. I just, I'm not great at the bows. And I'm probably going to make a knot when I'm trying to make a bow. Okay, we're close. It's resembling a bow. <laughs> but you can't pull too hard because this is vintage lace and it's fragile. But it's so so cute so I do oh, let me turn this back around to me I do have I think I can get away with that being a bow so I cut off some pieces try to fix it yes all right but I almost think it needs a snippet behind it before I put that down. I do also have this from Angel Dream Crafts. It's just beautiful. And I did use it on some tags earlier. I just need like a snippet. Now, okay, this is a great little snippet lace. This is also from Gisela's store. So I think I can just cut off a piece of it. And put it behind that bow and that'll be just what I need. Um, yes, so okay. I think that's what we're gonna do. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and glue down my bits. So I'll glue down all the lace bits and then I will add the embellishments. Do I want it to go all the way down or do I just want a piece? Yeah, I think I don't need this whole big piece now. Because I added that big one at the bottom. So <clears throat> I think that will do very nicely. Very cute. Very cute. And it doesn't take a lot of glue. So. <clears throat> All right, so I like the movement of that just flopping around right there, and I think I want to put 
this bone right there. Okay. Yes. Very nice. So it's so cute. See, and it didn't take too long, and they're just so fun to do, but now we can add some sparkly bits. So let's see what we're going to add. So I'm just going to dump this out so I can dig through all these goodies from Gisela. I do like these individual pieces so much. And then she also sent me some of this, and that might be pretty to have one of these somewhere. We'll see. I'm going to cut one off. sparkly it is. Be careful. Okay. I mean, it's just so sparkly. Wouldn't that be cute right there? Hmm. Now I almost wish I would have not glued that down yet. I do that all the time. I also really like this. Isn't that pretty? Just a piece of it right there. So cute. And we also have all these bits. I love these little individual bits. Like, I think I'm going to put one in there. One in there. Yes, I like it. And she sent me some great buttons, too. Let's see. I need to put something there. I just haven't decided what that's going to be yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue these on. So pretty. Okay. It's so pretty, but this, it needs something. What am I going to do up there? Let's see. I'm going to put some of this maybe across. That's cute. What else do we got? That's really pretty too. Ah, I love that. Isn't that cute? That's cute. What else do we got over here? I feel like I got some flowers somewhere that would be really cute. I'm going to put that there. I like that a lot. So it really needs some more stuff happening up there. So I'll put a little piece of this right there. Oh, it's so cute. All right. some glue on that guy. Oh yeah, I love, I love that at the top. That is so pretty. All right, so I feel like it needs like some flowers. I'm thinking some flowers or buttons maybe. I love this so much. I don't think I'm going to use it on this one, though. Maybe it needs a button. Oh. oh! Yes to the button. Let's see if... Did I... Do I have a threaded needle? Because that would be too convenient. I don't. Okay. Let's see what I got. I'm going to try to find something to lace up this button with. All right. So I tied some... Um, like jute in the button because I just I I don't like a naked button so I put that in there and I'm actually gonna cut off a little piece of this because I don't there's too much of it up there just too too much I like that much better so I'm gonna pop that button right here I think so I'm just gonna hot glue it right on 
love that. And now I want to add a little something to the bow. I don't know if I'm going to put just one of these, like a single, or she also sent me, Gisela sent me this little button that I think would be cute right there. That's cute. Um, decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to add just a single, one of these single stones like I did over here. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to do. Oops, I'm dropping stuff over there. There we go. So there it is, an adorable little snippet tag. Now, usually when I'm using this on a project, I will dangle a charm off of it or I will tie... Um, you know something at the top it just depends on what I'm going to use it for because it's also just like a pretty applique to stick on a project instead of you know also being a tag so it just depends on what you want to do and, and I might stick a sentiment right here I don't know but they're just they're so cute and they're so fun and I really loved it I mean the only thing that's not a vintage trim on here is is this piece which is just gorgeous but I love how it turned out so I hope you, you know, enjoyed the process too. Thanks for joining me. Please leave me a comment below and let me know what you think. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and you can find the links below to where I got all of these lovely goodies to play with. See you soon.